Hello everyone, today we have new video review with fresh kit from ICM. As you can see it's new i153 Chaika which is molded in 148 scale. So as you can see box is not that big, here you can see comparison with my hand. And on the front side we have this beautiful box art of the airplane flying in the sky somewhere in the mountains. Uh, then on the side we have some information about the kit. So inside you would find uh, 100 parts which should assemble into the model with length of 130 millimeters and wingspan of 208 millimeters. And on the other side we have one of the marking options which are included into this kit. Uh, this is a typical, let's say, packaging scheme for the ICM. So we have uh, cover printed top part which is sealed together with uh, special stickers with a sturdy white cardboard box so I need to remove the stickers and we would see what's inside I hope you remember that uh, in the beginning of this year we had a chance to check 172nd scale of this uh, aircraft which proved to be quite nice there were some minor uh, discrepancies in the model nevertheless they were easily correctable so for all professional modelers who wanted to get a really precise copy, it wasn't like a great deal. So uh, here we have all plastic parts <coughs> that should be needed for the airplane assembly. Then there is assembly guide and I guess uh, decals are hidden inside it. Nevertheless, of course, uh, first we would check plastic screws. As you can see, there are plenty of them. And all plastic sprues are packed into one plastic bag, so be carefully careful and check all plastic sprues before the purchase. Okay, so let's begin from the small frames which contain fuselage parts. As you can see, each frame contains one fuselage half which is molded together with tail, segment and rudder. Also we have very nice imitation of the ribbed surface and of course there is suspend lines and drive it in present in all necessary spots. Note that uh, I guess this is a top coating part that is molded as a separate piece and inside we have quite minor uh, cockpit detailization which should be enhanced with help of some additional parts. Note that we have here also position pins here here uh, that should help with alignment as well as this special uh, molding design that we have, uh, let's say, other part of the tail molded on this half, so other half doesn't feature uh, tail detailization. Here you can see it, so it's, as I said it's tailless, nevertheless it features the same detailization in form of this nice recessed panel lines and riveting. Also we have here some minor parts and inside it approximately the same as previous sprue. Next we have small sprue with all external <coughs> armament. As you can see we have here bombs and pylons to which those should be attached. Uh, nice touch here is that uh, thin bombs are molded as one piece, nevertheless those thick ones you would have to assemble them from two halves and uh, their tails would serve as a position element for the proper alignment of both halves together. Last but not the least, uh, grey sprue contains wing parts, as you can see here uh, we have a top part which features also resist panel lines and uh, integrally molded ailerons. Here we have a bottom half which is molded together with wheel wells and of course it's also molded as one piece. Here you can see the other side of this one and here is the other side of the top one. Uh, then we have one piece front cooling part also bottom cooling part I guess uh, some external wing parts, tail wings of course are molded also as one piece parts, again we have here several uh, elements for the cooling imitation, one piece propeller, note that the attachment point is positioned in quite a smart uh, place so that you won't damage parts. Wheels, uh, note that they are attached by one point, 
they are molded as one piece parts so we would have to be careful while painting them and of course we have here three parts for the engine so out of the box we would have quite nice detailization of the heart of the airplane uh, note that transparent sprue is packed into the separate plastic bag there are no not so many parts featured on this small plastic frame uh, actually on the one it's a canopy obviously so just give me a second to open it and show it to you here it is quite a small part excellent mode quality I would say as you can see it's as transparent as it could be and of course you would need masks for this beauty because otherwise it will be damaged and then we have assembly menu uh, this one is printed also in a typical uh, ICM scheme I would say so we have first and last pages printed in color we have here a short history note also, tec also technical specifications color chart uh, then we have a parts map here we have decals as you can see, these are mainly red Soviet stars and also some decals for the dashboard. Printing quality is quite nice. I hope that application also won't be problematic, I would say. Uh, note that all parts would be used in the assembly. And here is assembly process schemes and how all steps are explained. Then we have marking options. As you can see, we have one, two, and three marking options available on this kit. Those are quite interesting, I would say, especially the first one, because of quite unusual camouflage. Ah, oh, actually, there are four. We have one, two, three, and four on the last page. So four marking options in total. Um, that's all for the video review as usual but uh, I recommend you to check a review article on our website where you would find detailed photos and also some uh, opinion about the plastic and of course I would be happy to hear your opinion in the comments below and also I would recommend you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group because it will help us greatly and also you will be able to receive all the fresh info uh, before like faster than others thank you for watching and see you in the next video